That day was very hot. It was 35 degrees and 80% humidity. It was after lunch where Max had started to slow down a little bit and complain about fatigue. I, I, I don't want to make it sound selfish, but everyone is tired, you know, because of the, the nature of the work and you, you don't sort of start thinking about whether someone might be showing the first signs of what could possibly be heat stroke. I didn't see this, but a couple of my colleagues said Max was like, he, he jumped on the boom and he just crossed his legs and put his knees in his arms and he said, I quit, I've, I've had enough. He was like, uh, you know, we need to get picking. He was like, no. And as the, the seventh trailer was about to leave and go back to the farm, I seen Max sort of run past me and look at me. And I could tell at this point that just by the way he looked at me that there was something seriously wrong. His eyes were cross-eyed. He was running like a newborn deer where the legs are wobbling all and their arms are wobbling all over the place. People asked me what, what he was like on the day and you know it was quite harrowing. As I've been pulling him back, trying to get him to come back the van, he's collapsed. I was pouring water on him and fanning him, trying to keep him cool. Uh, Andrea was holding his tongue to stop him from swallowing it. You know, there was like five guys essentially trying to save his life at this point. I came out uh, when I was 18 to Australia um, and I did my 88 days, um, did it in a town called Griffith and I just sort of saw a problem in the system, like uh, the farmers don't treat you very well uh, often, some, some do, uh, but in my personal experience and the farmers were quite rude, sexist, uh, experienced a bit of sexual harassment. If you get someone in a packing shed that's say local. Um, the majority of them will only want to work from eight to five and nothing out of that. Um, we had a backpacker will work from seven to four or seven to six or whatever because they're here to make money. Here for a short term, there's two things they want. They're 88 days and money. And I know a lot of backpackers can only get those sort of jobs because they leave it till the last minute and there's only that work around. And I know people are ripping them off. There are uh, contractors that are screwing them and paying them, you know, like probably half the rate because they're, they're creaming it off the top. You hear so many backpackers just saying, oh, they've just got to get through their 88 days. Not many people want to do farm work, um, but it means that they put up with so much more um, because they're just thinking, oh, I've just got to get through these few months. So they'll put up with the harassment and the low pay that's like not even legal. Um, because they're just thinking about getting the second year visa. I reckon that uh, there's a couple of things they need to do. They need to make sure that they, uh, they do their farm work first. They've got to have the right visa, they've got to have uh, an Australian bank account, they've got to have um, a tax file number, and they've got to have all that before they go. They've got to then work for reputable people. They've got to make sure that they've got, they, they don't get paid cash, they get pay slip with, with their pays and uh, they make sure that the uh, farmer or the contractor is all legal.